All right, hi guys. Uh, this video is the final video in the in the unit, and it's not actually one that's going to be tested on. It's simply for me to really make clear to you that in the exam you will come up with different algebraic fraction questions, and they will all say simplify or a similar type of terminology. Each of these require a slightly different skill. So I'm going to go through each of these four. If you're confident with one, great. You can fast forward, or you just listen carefully to make sure that you're not going to get confused yourselves. Right, first one, add. It's got an add and algebraic fractions. Now add and subtract, we know are the same. We've got a one, two, three step when doing them. Now I'm not gonna waste time writing them down here. We should know what they are. We need to look back at previous videos if we're confused. When we add algebraic fractions, our first step is to make denominators the same. So therefore I must multiply this fraction by x plus three and x plus three and multiply this fraction by x minus two and x minus two which will look a little bit like this. Four bracket x minus two over x plus three, x minus two. Add two bracket x plus three over x plus three, x minus two. Right, our second step is to add the denominators. Now, unlike this, this, and this question, where we try not to have to expand out and anything like that, because we need to simplify before that. With adding and subtracting algebraic fractions, we must expand the numerators, otherwise we simply can't add them together, okay? However, we do not expand the denominator because in its simplest form, is would be as if it was factorized. So therefore, the way the next set of working out would look is this, four x minus eight plus two x plus six over, same denominator, so I'm going to write x plus 3, x minus 2. Right, to finish it off, we've got to simplify it. Simplify it means 4x plus 2x, which is 6x, negative 8 plus 6, which is negative 2, over x plus 3, x minus 2. Final answer. Okay, that's adding or subtracting algebraic fractions. Now this, however, is different. It's got no operation. It's just one fraction. I want to simplify it. So that's when you say straight away, can I factorize this? The answer is yes. The denominator is a linear factorization. Four comes out. The denominator is obviously a quadratic factorization. Two numbers that multiply to get eight, add to get six is two and four. So it'll be x plus two and x plus four. I now simply say, can I cancel out? Well, they both go into x plus two and x plus two. So I divide that by x plus two and I divide that by x plus two, leaving me with my final answer of four x plus four. I don't need to put the brackets there because it's only by itself as the expression. Okay, now this one here does have an operation. It says multiply. So that's when you think back and you think, what steps did I do when I've got to multiply algebraic fractions? Well, the first step of four is can I factorize? So now I look at this fraction here, can I factorize? Well, two comes out of that denominator. So two bracket x plus two over the 10 cannot be factorized times by the four, which also cannot be factorized. And then this denominator, eight bracket x plus two can be factorized. My second point when I multiply algebraic fractions is can I cross simplify? This goes into x plus two as does this. So yes, I can divide them both by x plus two. 10 and four both go into the two times table. So therefore I can then divide them both by two as well. So that would become five and that would become two. Now, a few of you might realize, hang on a minute. It looks like I've cross simplified as much as I possibly can, but have I? The two here and the eight here, I can actually cross simplify once more. They both go into the two times table. So that would become one and that would become four. So really what we've got here is one times two, which is two over five times four, which is 20. So that's our third step right there. Our third step is to multiply the numerator and multiply the denominator. Then my fourth step is just double check. Can I simplify it anymore? And the answer to that is yes, because two out of 20 can both be divided by two to equal one out of 10. So that's my final answer, okay? So, so far I've done three questions, 
all of them a slightly different process. We must be able to clearly differentiate between them, including the last one. The last one, the operation we've got here is divide, so therefore we must know it's very similar to multiply, but instead of there being four steps, there is going to be five steps, and the first of those steps is to keep, change, flip. So I'm going to rewrite, hopefully I've got enough room at the bottom here, I'm going to rewrite this question, and I'm going to keep this fraction the same, I'm going to change the divide to a multiply, and I'm going to flip this fraction right here, x squared plus 6x, good, I've done my first step. My second step, can I factorise? Well, the answer is yes, I can factorise all of them. Let's look at this one here, two numbers that multiply to get 6, add to get 7, so I've got x plus 6, x plus 1, over linear factorisation here, 4 bracket x plus 3, times by, factorise that, x, I don't know what I was doing up there, x minus 5, x plus 3, and then be careful with this one. A lot of people try and, try and do that double brackets, think it's a quadratic. In this case, all we can simplify, uh, factorise it to be, is just it's got x in common. So x bracket, and then x plus 6. Okay, so I've done my second step here, factorising. Third step, can I cross simplify? x plus 6, x plus 6, yep. So I divide them both by x plus 6. x plus 1, nope. x minus 5, nope. x plus 3, x plus 3, yep. Divide them both by x plus 3. So I've got, I'm, I've left here x plus 1 x minus 5, multiply them together. Remember, it's not like we're adding fractions where we then multiply out and expand out like we had to here because these two, we had to expand these two expressions to then simplify them to collect it. When I'm multiplying it, that and that, there's no point multiplying them out. I leave that as x plus 1, x minus 5, over 4 times x, which is 4x. I then think to myself, can I simplify any more? No, I can't. So therefore, that's my final answer. So in this quick video here, we've got the difference between adding algebraic fractions and the fact that we must expand this out, therefore to add the numerators together to equal that. We've got simplifying, which has just given us as one fraction, we've got to factorise and cancel out. We've got multiply, where we've got to follow our four steps. And we've got divide, where we've got to follow our five steps. And that is algebraic fractions.